Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are back here at what I call Tuna Alley. That's probably the best thing I can call it at this point, at least for me. I'm sure there's other areas just like this, but I thought since I'm here, I might as well do some grinding. I know we haven't seen any new species yet, but honestly, I'm not 100% certain we haven't caught all of them that could be caught here, so... Only been here, through here a few times. And I think I'm going to try something a little new this time. I'm going to try this plug, which is a lure I've never really used. And it's supposed to be good for these type of fish. And there's also something called a squid chain that you can add to this. And it's supposed to be good for them as well. And I have seen a few YouTubers messing around with it, so I'm hoping... That maybe we can have some luck with it. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get a different species of tuna. I don't know. Definitely worth a try. We're going to keep it at about 80, about 80 feet. Well, it goes a little more than that sometimes. But let's go ahead and get this started. We'll head towards... Let me see where the birds are. They're right over there. There's a cruise ship out there now, too. That was not there. I think I'm going to take it up to about... I think I'm going to try about 3% this time. Maybe a little slower. It's, I've been doing 4% or 5%. There are definitely fish there. You can see there's some way down at the bottom there. Might be grouper. According to that, though, there are tuna that like to go deep. They'll go either surface and somewhere, sometimes up to 2,000 feet down. So let's head towards these birds. I haven't seen any jumping just yet. Okay, I hear some. Yep, they're jumping now. There they are. That looks like blue tuna to me, blue fin. Now we're going to try this lure for a minute and see what it does. I don't know if it's going to be successful. But it looks like the birds are kind of shifting over that way a little bit. Yeah, so far no takers. Well, we'll keep at it. If somebody decides to go for it, I'll bring it back. Right now it all seems quiet. They're definitely there. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, let... Wait a minute. I'm not sure he's still got it. No, he... We did get a bite, though. That's a good sign. I wish I'd reacted a little quicker. Let's hit towards these birds.
Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, this is off the plug, so let's see what this attracted. The plug in the squid, squid chain, six inch, four pieces. This is different. This is something else. A skipjack tuna trophy yet. We did get something new. Awesome. Yeah, I like getting new species. I have not gotten a skipjack tuna before. I was hoping that would happen. Let's take a look at this fella. I've never I've never seen a skipjack tuna. He's not huge. He's only about 46 pounds. He's a trophy though. So that's cool. Wouldn't mind catching a few more of those, but he definitely went for that plug right off the bat. Let me see here. Let me get a picture of him cuz Interesting looking fish. Lots of tuna in this, guys. Lots of different types of tuna. And they are just jumping like mad out there. Maybe we can get a couple more. It'd be nice to get a unique one. Alright, let's get this thing going again. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Hit the wrong button. All right, so f I had that at four percent. Yeah, I was hoping, seriously hoping, that we get something new or something really huge, like a unique marlin. That would be too awesome to believe, but. Let's go over there where they're jumping because there's a lot of activity over here. Yeah, it was high time to get a new species. So the thing is when you're turning you don't get as much speed, so Yeah, I think what we need to do is we need to there we go. Ugh. So they're biting, but we're not getting a whole lot of contact here. You gotta make sure that they're actually on it. Alright, let's get back up here. What am I... S let's see. Okay, there's... Wait a minute. Let's stop here for a second. Let's stop here, because there is a fish way deep there. Been meaning to give this a try, too. Actually, we're... Let's try some bottom fishing here for a minute. We have not tried that here. And it's going to be pretty deep. But it's going to have to go all the way to the bottom. Because whatever it was, it was way down there. This might help it along a little bit. Did I just get... Really? Hold on. It did. That was weird. Something bit on it. It's doing it again. Okay, I'm just going to hold it this time. <laughs> it something keeps biting on it. That's crazy. This is a lure. Okay, there we go. All right. And we're got, Holy crap. We got both of them. What in the world is down there? Mm. 
Yeah, I saw that fish down there. I thought maybe I better try bottom fishing. Just to see what happens. Oh my goodness, whatever this is, it's huge. I just thought I was going to be catching some. Just catching some more tuna, maybe another marlin. Whatever this is, it is big. And yes, guys, if you are wondering, my wife went to sleep. <laughs> she is really tired. All right, we are making a little progress. Usually the good thing is about bottom fishing is most of the species, while they might fight, they usually tend to use more brute strength than anything else. So if you just hang tough with them, well, I don't know. We might be here a minute. Wow, what is this thing? Whatever it is, it is a monster. Yeah, I caught this off of a 8 odd hook, saltwater curved hook, Japanese jack mackerel for bait, 12 ounce sinker, biggest sinker we got. It's not the biggest hook we've got, but this is giving me a better fight than the Goliath, I keep wanting to call it a Goliath grouper, the giant grouper. Man! Okay, we, we may be here a minute. Okay, we're getting a little bit of slack, but I think he's going under the boat. Marlin like to do that. I mean, it could be a marlin. Maybe he just was deep. And something does keep biting on that daggone lure. That kills me that it's biting off of a lure that is not being trolled or reeled in. Much, much, much later. Alright guys, we've been at this for about 15 minutes. I am not joking. My uh, finger is actually getting numb. I've been holding it in this position so long. And he is just now under 100. He was way over 300 for the longest time. And he keeps getting like second wins and keeps coming up and taking more line again but we are getting lower than we've ever gotten so far he is closest to the boat he's been yet I don't know what he is but he is really close and I'm hoping he doesn't get another second well there he goes again that got it and he's got it back out to 50 again He's getting a second win. There it goes. He does that all the time. He, I'm not joking. My fingers is numb. We had him 22 feet away. And then he got a second win again. And he was out like a light. Like lightning. Come on. Ah. Oh. 
God. He did it again. Now he's back out to 54. I had him, like, right there. What the hell is this fish? He's back out to 60 feet again. We got a brief look at him. I couldn't tell what he was, though. He was not a grouper. Mm. Okay. I have to shake my hand to get the feeling back into it. <laughs> oh, my God. No joke. I'm not joking. My hand went to sleep. That's what happens when you get old, guys. What is this fish? I'm not messing around. This guy's got to come in. We, we've played around with this dude long enough. Come on. Gotta be kidding me. He's back out to 60 feet again. He's, he's taking a run for it. Holy crap. Look at that. I mean, come on. He's got to get tired eventually. Apparently not. He took it right back out past 100 feet again. He was literally just 8 or 9 feet off the boat. And he just keeps going back out again. Well, we're going to sit here and keep fighting him some more. Several moments later. Yeah, I thought I had him there for... I was sure I had him. I'm not sure of anything right now, honestly. Whew. This is the longest fight so far, guys. We're going on 20 minutes here, and... We got him. Holy crap. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not only is it a new species. Not only is it a new species. But it's the biggest fish I've caught ever in this game. This has beat every fish that I've caught, even the unique Arapaima. Unique big-eyed tuna. 375.705 pounds. 90.6 inches. $60. No, $60. $60,795 cash 42,845 xp gained holy crap i'm not joking guys it was over 20 minutes i fought this guy he took it out 300 feet kept it at 300 feet for the longest time and brought him all the way into 20 feet then he took it back out to almost 100 150 feet 
And he took it back out to 200 feet. Then he came back in. I mean, this just kept going back and forth and back and forth. Let's take a look at this guy. Holy crap. Lord have mercy. That is one hell of a fish. No, I'm not joking, guys. This is the biggest fish I'm sure of it. I don't think I've caught anything bigger in this game to date. Is this the biggest fish in the game? I mean, I don't know. Maybe the jo the trophy grouper gets bigger. I don't know if it does or doesn't. But this... I had no idea that there... You can't even see me. I can't even see my face. I see barely see the top of my hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. I wanted something new. I got it. Careful what you wish for. Holy crap. My I'm not joking though. My fingers were going numb from pressing down on the mouse keys. <laughs> but I wasn't gonna let go of that son of a gun. Not in a million years. That is a fish, my friends. All I see is eyeball and teeth. <laughs> Jeez. That was some fight. Wow. So they're deep. They're down on the bottom, huh? That's where they... Well, that was completely, totally by accident that I found him. But this is definitely aptly named. This is definitely Tuna Alley. Jeez. I don't think I... I don't know that I could even top that. At least not this this round. Skipjack was cool, too. I mean, that was another new one. But let me see what I've got in my fish storage here. 131,000, but it's only like five fish. I mean... All right, guys. I am back, and I am so, so disappointed. Not for that big-eyed tuna that you just saw me get. What I'm disappointed about is after that. What happened just after that... <laughs> was I was using my little plug lure and trolling right here, right along here. And something grabbed it and took off with it and took it out about 600 feet and kept taking it. And I fought it and I fought it and I fought it and I fought it. For about a good 25 minutes. And I swear to God, I finally got it in. And this is what I caught. A unique striped marlin. It was bigger. By almost 35 pounds. Than the unique big-eyed tuna. I don't know what happened. But I was using Shadowplay. That's the software that I sometimes use. It's built into the um, G-Force part of the computer and when I had stopped recording and started recording all I got was sound this had happened before to me and I didn't get any of the footage none of it but this is him 414.361 pounds 135 inches over 81,000 XP and I leveled up to level 65 as a result of him but you guys missed it ah, it kills me it kills me when that happens I hate technical difficulties my god it drives me crazy I'm gonna I've been having picture problems with that when I use Marilla's action sometimes I have sound issues I, it's like I can't come up with a recording software that I can depend on here recently. It's driving me nuts. I apologize for that, guys. I would love to have you've seen that fight because it was an amazing, 
amazing fight. And it was an amazing fish. But, I mean, at least he's there. And I did get a picture. I'm going to pop the picture of, of me holding him. But here real quick, let me show you. Yeah, that was him. Oh, God. I really wanted you guys to see that. But just so you guys know, I did get him with that plug. Three-tenths ounce, ten-odd hook, squid chain, six-inch, four pieces. And, yeah, that was the unique Marlin. I got him. Got him checked off my list of species. I don't think I've gotten a trophy yet, but yep, I got a common, and I've got that one. Finally got a, I got a trophy skipjack now. Still don't have a trophy bluefin. That might be bigger. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. And let me see. Where's the big eye? There's a dog, too. There's the big eye. So only thing I've caught of the big eye is a unique. And he was on the bottom, so you might want to look around when you see that. Stop the boat, drop something over, use the jack mackerel, because that's what I got him with. And you might get one. And there they go again. Well, I am done, guys, because I fought that for a long time. But I'm going to rest a little bit, put this video together, and I might come back and do some more fishing. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I wish you would have seen all of it. But anyway, until next time, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.